Please remember to subscribe, click the bell, and enable all notifications. A colossal shout out and thank you to all my awesome members. To join them in becoming a member and support the channel, check out the links in the description down below. Hey guys, and welcome back to Simonis the Ride Darkest Fools mod. So, I waited over the night so we can work in daylight. I want to make my ward base. I want to try and see how much we can actually complete today. With this many blocks and even more crafting over here, we should be able to finish. I mean, with this much titanium, we might even be able to do the flooring closest to us where the zombies fall in titanium. Or at least around the stairs where they usually make a hole. Um, what I want to do quickly first is, I want to see laser ammo. We should be able to make quite a bit of laser ammo right now. Or it's called energy cells. Energy cell. Uh, okay, we need forged titanium. Oh, okay. Damn, that's a problem. We only have 330. So I won't be able to make that much. So we need the forged of that. Uh, we need this and we need enriched uranium. We definitely have that. So what I'm thinking of doing is I might just have to stop the one from crafting blocks and make it craft the forge. No, that's way too much. Uh, let's go for 1k and then the rest blocks like so. Boom. Okay, then with that, we'll be able to make even more energy. Uh, guys, I want to have like a whole row of just energy cells for this PI over here. For those of you that haven't seen this series yet or haven't uh, started watching it, go check out the one where I try and do that. No, I don't, I don't think I have it on video. I just, I wanted to do it um, when we finished up our first town. Our first town was over here. And yeah, that was a big nope. My game stage was like 300, 400, and there are so many demonic... That is, that's like hell itself, basically. Uh, but yeah, I need a whole s a row of ammo so I can just go in there, guns blazing. I want to have uh, an auto mod on my laser rifle and I have two laser rifles. So when the one loses quality, we can just switch to the next one. And then it, both of them do need to have the battery. So for every shot you fire, you get a chance of getting your ammo back. I think as soon as we have all that, that's going to be awesome. Okay, I still have the fog gone, as you guys are aware. Basically, for those of you who don't know, um, in console you type weather, and then you leave a space, you type fog, leave a space, and zero. And it takes away all the fog on the map. It makes it so much easier to play the game because you can actually see where everything is. That's a big thing I don't like about I love the weather except for the fog. The smog and the burn biome and the fog over here just no no. Come on, stand still. I don't want any demon zombies surprising me while I'm busy uh, building down there. Bye bye, in the back. Okay, she probably use our bicycle or bicycle. <laughs> she actually use a motorcycle to drive around. Oops. Please tell me I killed her just now. If that didn't kill her just now uh, and she saw me, yeah. Um, I should actually let a scream a scream once so those of you new to Darkest Falls can see why that's a big nope. The amount of demons and uh, demonic behemoths and stuff that spawn when they just scream once is kind of scary. It's truly, truly scary. Okay, now these blocks could have been titanium. So I'm going to have to upgrade them to titanium. But the rest of this, the whole floor over here could be titanium if I do this right. Uh, basically, we still need to put our... Hmm, we still need to put our electric fence posts over here. Do I have everything over here or not? Oh, yeah. Oh, we still have 205 blocks here. <laughs> nice. That's very nice. Okay, uh, what we could drop is just this, 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 and this for now. We're going to put these on the outside. Please don't let there be a wandering horde right now with Succubi. I need to be able to first make sure that we block off or protect our electric fence posts over here. Basically, we're going to have a few over here to slow down the zombies. And a few over here where the zombies run over so they don't really make it over to this spot. And then I need to decide where to put it. One, two, three. I think this is the right spot. So we're going to do this. Two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. That's, uh, that's all, right? One, two, three. That's a top block. One, two, three. That's a yes. Cool. Okay, so I wanna, I'm going to connect all of these off camera, guys, because running back and forth is kind of boring. Even if you have to cut it out. But for now, we just want to make sure that all of these are up and running. They're pointing to the top. Uh, yeah, I want to make sure that all of these are just there for now, so I don't have to worry about uh, placing them later. And then I just need to connect them and put my generator in a place where it's not going to get wrecked every time it stands there. One, two, three. There you go. That's the walkway. I don't want to have any electric fence posts there. Technically, I could have electric fence posts here, guys. But it's going to go straight through that block. So zombies won't get shocked unless they fall down. So the ragdoll... Well, it might actually work. They ragdoll corpses or bodies because they might not be dead yet. 
uh, will get shocked as they fall through. So that's another way to slow them down. But I don't know if it's going to be worth it or not. I don't want to waste any resources. Two, three, four, five. What I want to do is I'm going to put poles on this one. And let's put another pole over here. We need to be careful of weight, but at least these blocks can hold a ton of weight. Put a block there. I'm going to put a block there. I still need to remove that block over there. Nice. Now, uh, for those who don't know what I'm doing, you're going to see now. Basically, I want to put armor all around this base. But I want to put it in such a way that we don't have to worry about zombies at all. Okay, perfect. So we're going to do this. Two. Basically, when a succubus vomits at us from the outside, she's going to hit the armor and not the inside of my base. Um, and also, the AoE damage might not be able to reach me. But then again, like I said, guys, in warrior difficulty, when a, a succubus boss vomits... It's one hour that they set your light, and normal lackeys are only supposed to set your light for one minute. But in Insanity, the normal lackeys already set your light for one minute, so the bosses are even that more powerful. Um, I killed a, a mutated demolisher. Um, and for those who don't know, it's basically like a demolisher is this tall, right? Or like two and a half blocks. A mutated one's about that tall. If you explode it, it looks like a nuke going off. From there to here, you actually see like a wave of destruction as it goes. So it's not just five blocks in each direction, it's, it's easy like 10 or something. So when you face those guys, you have to be so careful that they don't end up destroying all your stuff, all your whole base. If one uh, mutated one explodes, it can even destroy titanium. That's how tough those guys are. Okay, just want to see exactly where I need to put this. Let's put it like this. And then when I have this wall is going to go way higher. It needs to be titanium as well because of the tough zombies you're going to be facing. Now, what I could also do is to make it even further away from me. For those of you who don't know what I'm doing right now, when a demon of any sort vomits, um, they vomit. Say, for example, they hit that block over here. If you're standing here, you can catch a light. So if I stand there and they hit this wall, I can, get, I can actually be on fire and I'm going to be screwed. But by doing this, I'm adding two more blocks. So if it hits yeah, and I'm standing there, I might not catch on fire. But to make sure that that actually works, we could even go, copy rotation, copy shape, and do this. So they're not even attached to each other. It's going to be that much further out, so it should be that much more support. I just hope these poles are enough to keep all this weight. Um, as I said, these blocks can hold a lot of each other. But I'm just afraid, you know what, let me just do this. It's a waste of resources and stuff right now, but I want to make sure this holds. This ca cannot afford to cave in. Especially if a demonic uh, zombie... Uh, Incubus or Succubus destroys a few of these poles. This armor needs to hold. It's not supposed to cave in. Okay, now the nice thing is we can just do this. We can either do this from the top or the bottom. Just by... No! What did I just do? And look how long this is going to take me to destroy. 25k. I thought I copied that shape just now. Copy shape, copy rotation. Oh, and a screamer just... You know, uh, yeah, I wanted to show you guys what happens when a screamer sees you, right? So let's just let this one see us. Hello. Yeah, she just spawned in a ton of zombies. And she spawned in another zombie. What the hell? Crap. I'm dead. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Please don't tell me there was a mutated one spawned in as well. Okay, I need to get to safety. This is bad. This is really bad. This is just from two screamers just now, right? Oh, they're fighting each other. I need to kill those first. Uh, oh, it's killing the behemoths for me. Nice. Are they going to try and... Wait, where are you? Are they going to fall my head? Oh, that one I need to kill. That succubus over there is the one that does the same amount of block damage. You can easily destroy the block I'm standing on and make the zombies get to me. Is that a wandering horde right now? No! I'm trying to pull for them to make that bigger hole there. I need to be careful that I don't get a hit over here. Is that just a cop exploding? Yeah, it was. Yeah, I need to get onto the roof, guys. I might be safe on the roof. Might being the word. Come on, reload, reload, reload. I want to get the XP, so I don't want him killing all my zombies. He's so tall, he actually reaches me through the boards over here. Run, 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 run. 
Reload, 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 reload. I'm on fire. Oh, this is a bad idea. This was a really bad idea. I just want to show you guys what it looks like when I spawn a whole screamer horde. Now I might just die. Uh, let's just run back. I'm gonna get on. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna hit hit. Ooh, I'm gonna get a hit. Get a hit. Get a hit. Oh, wow. A oh, car just exploded. Let me just get to safety over here. I should be more or less safe up here while I take care of the demons over here. Yeah, I just need to take care of the big boss. Then I can focus on all these small fry. I also need to keep an eye on my health because they can easily destroy me. Come on, come on, come on. It's a shame I don't have any rocket launchers on me. I need to actually take away the healing first and then try and kill them. At the moment, I'm just wasting ammo trying to kill these guys. Okay, Wolfie first. He's nice and fast. Okay, now I need to kill the rest of them. Okay, let me just not waste any more of this ammo. And kill you, kill you, kill you. Thank you. Oh, no, where's the other wolf? Sounds like there's definitely another wolf over here. Okay, so we just killed a ton of them, and there might be even more over there, so we need to be careful. I don't think there should be more. Let's just hope not. Oh, gyrocopter. Please give me gyrocopter. I need the gyrocopter piece. Come on. After all of that. I need to be careful of all the zombies respawning over here. Okay, so yeah, as you guys can see, it's never a good thing to make a screamer see you. Because that can end up happening. That was just insane. And the thing is, the one screamer spawns a ton of zombies and another screamer. And that's where the problem arises. Because then it's just a continuous loop of zombies. So I hope they don't make too much of a hole over here or mess over here. They were definitely, it was like a free for, uh, free for all over here just now. Uh, definitely a ton of tough, tough, tough zombies hitting each other. Okay, these we can actually scrap because we can just repair our current one with a forged uh, what do you call it forged titanium yeah forged titanium okay let me get away from here before more spawn in if i see a screamer i need to snipe it as you guys saw it's never a good thing to actually make them scream okay i should also make sure how am i going to destroy this though this was a misplace and unfortunately if i use the auger It'll definitely call too much attention. So I'm going to have to quickly power attack this. And I'll catch you guys back now. Okay. Finally back. I just ate and drank some stuff. So that I can make sure my wellness gets back up. And yeah. Uh, this, as you guys can see. The stamina goes up to like one, uh, 321. For some reason. But the health stays at 301. And then as soon as you use the uh, the wellness bit. Or the stamina bit. Then all of a sudden it just goes back down. Not quite sure how that works. But it seems that's the way it works. Okay, so I'm going to do this quickly. I, I think if we put the walls first, it will allow for space to be able to put the poles. I want to put all the poles in now that I don't have to worry about it later. So we're going to do this. And then I need to time it nicely. Yes, okay. So I can put in one more pole, two more pole, times two, four, six. Yeah. Wait, am I doing that? Yeah, two, four, six, twelve. I need to put twelve more of these in over here. Come on, John. You can't afford to fall down like that every time. I really don't want to be down here and have zombies seeing me too easily right now. Although, being, whether you're upstairs or downstairs, it doesn't really matter. The zombies are going to see you anyways. Copy shape. I can't afford to do this wrong again. One goes there. And then one on the very tippy top. I think if I misplace a block now, I'm just going to keep it misplaced. Pick it up is just... It takes way too long. Especially with titanium, guys. That's the only problem with these blocks that are already fully a full block. If you make one mistake, you have to first go through all the layers taking it out again. And that takes so long. It's insane. Okay, copy rotation, copy shape. And then we're just going to do these quickly. I just really hope that I don't accidentally go over the weight somehow. My calculations should be fine. This should hold without any worries. Because remember, every block... Every titanium block can hold 40 blocks, four zero blocks out. Uh, the max distance a game blocks can hold out is 14, uh, one four, and then the max weight these can hold is 40, four zero. So as long as you don't go past 14 blocks out, it can go up and down 40, four zero blocks. That's actually very nice. Okay, yeah, so this wall on this side is now uh, perfect. 
As you guys can see, this is just going to be like extra armor. So they vomit against that level, not this. On top, I should actually do exactly the same and place... But I think on top, I'm just going to put normal spikes like that. Like three, four rows. Now, the reason I'm not going to put electric fence posts like I originally intended, guys, is the fact that even these over here, one vomit or explosion inside and these break, unfortunately. They can't go past a certain distance away. Um, I already messed up with these. I should have actually put the back wall first and then put the feet, the, the stand of this thing on that side. The head should be on this side. Because the heads can go apart 12 blocks. Look, connecting these will be way easier. I can just stand here and connect them like this. But if the heads were looking towards each other, you can actually go 12 or 13 blocks in between. Meaning there's less chance of them getting damage from explosions and stuff. But if I were to do this on the roof and a succubus demon vomits all over on the roof, then it's going to destroy electric fence posts and it's not going to be effective. What's going to be the point? So what I want to do now instead, just quickly do this, is I want to make sure that this roof is nice and high. We have these walls that are at least nice and thick all around for explosion damage. And then the roof is going to be so high it shouldn't catch us a light. And then I'm going to put spikes on top and below that. So I'm basically going to do what we did over there. Three or four blocks high. And then inside as well. And then inside I want to have turrets pointing up the roof for when they break through. I can just shoot them with laser tech. And then the turrets will help me. I don't want to put the turrets outside because as you guys can see this one over here. No, okay. Uh, they bug out. I'm not sure if they're broken or not. I should go check. This one keeps bugging out. So I keep thinking it was dest uh, destroyed. Yeah, we still need to put a roof in over here. So that's going to be a mission. Rotation. But if I can just put this wall in all over, we're not going to have any problems anymore. And then I just need to put the roo this roof in. And then all we need to worry about is the entrance. Because so far I've built the whole defense. Except where the zombies have to actually get to me. I just hope that we don't end up using all our titanium. But I think I mine so much titanium right now. We shouldn't have to worry about that at all. Um, This is a problem though. This block over here is going to be open unfortunately because of the rotation. I could put a, a ramp block in over here. But then I need to destroy one, two, three blocks. So what I think I'll do is just on the outside put a plate over here and then on the inside this already covers it. I need to design this so well so we don't keep wasting blocks. It's so easy actually just to waste enough of blocks or a ton of blocks. And especially you guys titanium you saw how long it takes to mine this stuff. Misplacing just one block is actually a ton of resources and time wasted. Although if you have as many blocks as me it's not that bad but it's still pretty bad. A ton of resources just gone. Okay, what I want to do is copy rotation, two, three. I should actually do that th uh, three layer thing on this side as well. Just stand here. I should do it on this side as well so we don't have to worry about vomit from this front over here. From the back and the sides, as long as we have those plates all around, we should be safe from vomit. But up top and the front, we're still going to have to watch out a lot though. One, two, come on, I don't want to misplace. Two and three. It's nice when you can just stand in place instead of jump in place. Okay, now all I need to do is place these over here. Oh, wait. I can also place this. Almost forgot about this. Nice. There you go. And then on this side, I just need to copy that rotation on this side. Copy rotation and put it on this side. So, so even the poles if, over here, if I do that um, wall thing on this side, the poles, unfortunately, are not going to be connected over here. It's going to look like the uh, poles are actually floating. But it's not too bad. It's not really that bad at all. Okay, now I need to put a roof on. I wanted to go 10 up, but I think this is high enough. The roof is going to be on the top, very tip top anyways. But what I do need to worry about is how am I going to get outside? I should actually destroy that block and that block so I can just jump through and over if I really wanted to. Or just make a block at the back over here. I wonder. Yeah, if I make a block over here, if I take this out. Uh, but not now, it's going to take too long. I'll do it off camera. I need to put a hatch over here so I can get in and out of here and then fall down if I needed to. At the moment, I'm stuck in here. But what I could also do to make sure that we are safe from anything that breaks through. I want to put a plate upside down. Uh, come on. One, two, three, four. There you go. So I need to put, uh, put this uh, three blocks up. No, wait, wait. One, two, three. I should actually do the fourth one. But three is the highest I can jump. Reason for this being is when a behemoth breaks through, you need to be able to get out of arm's reach. The problem is the red behemoths are this tall, so they can hit you through those blocks. But now it's just going to be a nice way for me to be able to get in and out. I'm not going to put any hatches on top because that's just going to be dumb. Uh, zombies will be able to reach us way too easily. 
Now all I need to do is place the floor in over here, and then at least our defense itself should be done. Uh, I think what I'm going to do quickly, guys, is I'm going to put the roof in, and then I'm going to cut away as I put this armor piece all around this place. And then I'll catch you guys back as soon as I've done that side, i finished this side, and I've done this side. See you guys now. Okay, and I'm back. That took way longer than I thought it was going to take, but not as long as I really thought. <laughs> I know that almost makes sense. But yeah, um, I thought this might it might be dark by the time I finish all that, but luckily it isn't. But guys, just look at this view. It's a shame that I couldn't get it back. This whole sky was like uh, orange, yellow. It was so uh, pretty. So I think from now on, I'm going to keep going for the console weather uh, fog zero. So we can just see the nice scenery. I mean, look at this. This looks so nice and it looked even better just now before I climbed up here. But yeah, I want to show you guys what exactly I just did and I think you guys are going to be impressed. Basically, I put a roof over here. Uh, the reason it looks like it's flying is this plate's upside down or rather this one's uh, pointing up like so. The top one and the bottom one's on the bottom rotation. So you can actually walk over here and also hopefully this keeps the succubi out. I could also just heighten that roof. Uh, let's lift it a little bit more. Um, I'm just afraid of the weight. I might put in pillars over there all the way to the floor and then put the rest of the fl uh, frames in. I'm just afraid, even though I really reinforced this thing just now, that we lose out on durability or structure integrity and this whole thing caves in. Basically, where these poles start all the way out, I could place another block in between the roof and this. It's just this floor over here that makes this one... Uh, th there's nothing else I can place over here. But as soon as you start seeing the poles, you can actually place on top of the poles like so. So I could just place another floor like this, um, all the way around. Meaning we'll be able to see over there, there's going to be a plate and we'll be able to see underneath. Um, that way we should also be able to keep some succubi out. And then on the very top roof where we just started, I want to place all the uh, spikes. Also just to help a little bit with the weight over here, I went and placed this along. Um, this is just so the, the uh, this block over here can help carry 40 blocks as well. Um, remember at the moment it's carrying out this way and then since these are connected it's also helping carry this whole thing over here I was just afraid this thing's so massive guys that the weight's gonna start dragging it down um, I do need to block this off but I'll do that as soon as we've used all the blocks we needed to I want to put plates over here so that spiders can't jump in here at the moment that's the biggest fear I have and then the floor I also want to put plates under, uh, underneath but the problem with that is if a zombie ragdolls in here or jumps in here or whatever we're gonna have a zombie in here and it's going to destroy all our electric fence posts. I also want to put a roof on this. Uh, so the zombies can't get to them. But as soon as I start putting a roof. We won't be able to connect all these electric fence posts to each other. Normally I thought it was mismatches. Now ooh, that would have been bad. But yeah. Um, now we have these walls going all the way around our defense. Which means. Is there water over there? Damn. Um, so this means as soon as. Uh, zombies vomit like the succubi they're gonna hit this wall there might be a little bit of damage out here at the back but that's fine and then i'm just gonna do this this is gonna allow us to get in i also made a hole over here oh so I'm, i can't jump this high um i could make it one lower but i don't want too many zombies to be able to jump up there i wonder if i should do this and this just for now until i have like a ladder system or something in place over here uh basically i need to be able to jump on this crouch and then jump in here but that's gonna be see it needs a lot of aiming okay yeah, let's just put it underneath um i'm gonna regret not putting it underneath later so we're gonna do this we'll be able to get in just for now like this and later we'll put a door over here and a proper entrance so now i also put some poles in here so we can actually just support a little bit more because now this whole middle of here is actually supporting the roof as well so we don't have to worry too much about these blocks helping keep up the walls the armor and the roof it's, it, it just makes more sense structurally, basically. And then I just need to put a door in over here, so it's not just a hole over here. Um, I actually saw or heard a scream. I, I first he I heard it, and then I saw it starting to walk over here. So I think by the time we go there, there's going to be like five, six screamers. We need to pick them off with a sniper rifle, because we cannot allow them to scream over there. Now, for the floor over here, with the zombies ragdoll, I should actually also have titanium. The only problem with this is, I have to destroy it like so. At least... We can use our pick. It's nice and fast. But it's still going to be a schlep having to do... We, we could go get the auger. But as you guys know, with those uh, forges going, if we were to use the auger right now, all the screamers would just show up in mass. And I really don't feel like uh, killing a ton of sleeper hordes right now. Or scream hordes. I don't know why I keep getting those two confused. Okay, let's just line it up with this building over here. 
This should be enough for now. And unfortunately, we won't be able to place these blocks now because all the stone over here needs to despawn first. Um, I took away the box up top. Actually, technically, just drop this. I took away the box up top and that allowed me to put in the one pole. But now I don't have any storage over here or storage available. I could do. You know what? Wait, 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 wait. Where's more sand? That's sand, right? We run over here. We drop the sand. And then we just pick up the stone. This makes sense. This way I can actually go in there and I can place the blocks without having to worry. Especially since it stacks to 6k, we can now... Okay, these still over here need to come to me. Unfortunately, when there's, uh, when there's stones like this, guys, they're so small you can't really see all of them. But as long as they're here, you can't put any blocks over here. Look at this. That's red. So it needs to look exactly... Well, it needs to be clear and clean over here and then we can actually start placing more blocks. Ooh, almost misplaced that one. I hate it when I misplace blocks, especially the titanium blocks. At least with the titanium pick, if you misplace uh, concrete or something, it's easy enough to break up. But the titanium takes me about a half an in-game hour or day or whatever to completely destroy. I don't know exactly how long, but it's still a very long time that it takes. Now, it is starting to get dark, so let's just turn on our night vision. Whoa. That's actually a little bit too bright. Uh, but I'd uh, rather too bright than too dull and we can't see anything. Okay, so now the design I'm thinking of over here. Let's just make one more so the zombies can actually stand at the back of here. So we're going to do this. And then I want to put a wall over here so the zombies from the back can't see me. So this is going to be a plate. Um, I might have to go a little bit further out. Just a little bit. I just hope the weight doesn't get too much for this pole. I'm going to have to start the other side as well to make sure that the, uh, the weight doesn't get too much or the distance doesn't get too far. Basically, I want the zombies to be able to run up. I wonder if I shouldn't put the stairs over here. Only problem is if they explode or fight each other over here, it'll definitely hit my electric fence posts. Basically, guys, if the stairs are too far away, the zombies will go for your pillar instead of the stairs. But if you have the stairs on this side and they have to run that way around, at least the stairs are right where you are, so they should path better. They should path easier. Um, you don't want zombies not pathing and then all of a sudden destroying all your walls and stuff. Let me just see. Plates. Nope. Uh, plate, please. There we go. And we're just going to turn this. 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, that should be enough. 2, 3. I want to stand where we're going to stand and see if the zombies can see us from over there or not. Uh, also, the demonic behemoths are so tall that if they get here, they will be able to see us. So I just need to do that so they can't see us from in the, over here. They can still see us, damn it. Oh. But if I make the stairs on the sides, like I just said, then I don't have to worry too much. Hmm. I need to really think this through, guys. We can't afford for the stairs to be too close to the base, but they can't be too far either. And also, since the zombies can ragdoll over here, we can't afford to put the stairs at the back because the zombies won't go for them. So I should actually put the stairs over here then. Far enough away so they don't affect our electric fence posts, but close enough so the zombies pass towards the stairs and then try and run up. What I'm thinking of doing... Let's go about 10 blocks out from here. 10 blocks out, that's where the stairs are going to start. And then they're going to go about 3 or 4 blocks out. And then they're going to go up. And those quarter blocks where I'm going to have electric fence posts are going to be on this side then. Do I want them on this side? I actually want to put like a whole pillar or a whole wall over here. I have electric fence posts on that going either way. And then stairs on that side and that side. So that the electric fence posts slow them down. But I can't afford to do that if it's too far away. I seriously really need to think this out properly, guys. If we do have... If we make a mistake here, yeah, it's a ton of resources just wasted. I just want to check over here. If we're inside, what can they see and what can't they see? So if we stand right here. If we get too close, obviously... No, okay, it's blocked. Nice. Uh, the zombies down below will obviously be able to vomit up at us. But if, as long as we stand here by the water, uh, very few should actually see us. I want to stand basically in the middle. So if there are um, succubi zombies outside, demons outside, they can't really hit me too easily with their vomit. But this is just going to be that final stretch. Oops. We just turn off our helmet light mod and turn on this one. Why are you over here though? Yeah, okay, I think she came from that direction. That's why they passed all the way through. I need to be careful that they don't spawn around me over here and then head towards my base. I have like 12, 13, 14 forges on over there. So that's why they keep coming over here. Or just spawning in general. Okay, now I need to think this through properly. I really want the entrance to be on that side, but I'm just afraid if it is, the zombies won't pass all the way. Um, this is really making it difficult. 
Uh, I don't know how many of you guys saw my previous series, my Warrior series, but it went all the way up to episode 100, and then 101 to 104 was Horde defenses. I want to do the 104 defense where there's a walk over there with quarter blocks and a walkway there. They have to walk through electric fence posts, making them fall mostly, and then they turn back. Uh, but I need to also put stairs over here because if they have to turn back, they might just end up destroying everything over here. It makes it so much more difficult if you can't really... I need to picture this in my head. And the nice thing is we do have a ton of titanium blocks, so we shouldn't have to worry too much. But on the same t uh, in the same sentence, you don't want to waste too many resources. I wonder if I don't want the... Uh, the... But then it's going to be... See, if the if both the entrances over here, where the zombies walk past, and if you stand here, you can see both sides. What I could do, which is actually going to screw me a bit, I could go and make the entrance over here. Like they have to run into the quarter box defense over here, and do the same over here. Uh, that should work. The only problem is if I'm focusing on these zombies over here, the ones behind me will vomit at me. But I think that's going to be our best choice right now. Letting the defense go over here. We can put stairs on that side, that side, that side, that side. And I just hope that the behemoths still don't come up. As you guys are aware, this defense over here on this side is an anti-behemoth defense. Just do this. Um, it's an anti-behemoth defense. Behemoths cannot make it up that turn over there. So that's why I wanted to have the entrance like this going straight over towards this because the zombies won't be able to path it. But now with the straight shot, they might just be able to make it over, making it accessible to uh, behemoths. And then we're going to have to waste way more ammo. Although if we can slow down the majority of the zombies, this defense should work swimmingly. These are two blocks, right? Yes, okay, this might just work. Let me let me just try and see how far I can go or how far I get before stuff starts caving in. So we're going to go for the quarter block. Uh, just went past the rotation. This one first. That's going to be the outside rotation. Um, I need to actually put my helmet light on so I can see exactly how far I can go. One, two, three, four, five. We have to do it on both sides at the same time. So I don't get confused later on. Two, three, four, five. And... Oh, come on. Why do I keep missing that rotation? I'm going to allow more zombies to try and make it over. Because I'm just afraid if uh, this one over here gets destroyed, then... And that side gets destroyed, they're going to go for the poles. But if you do this, I have to destroy two blocks on each side for this to be ineffective. Basically, guys, go check out. I think it was season five, season seven of uh, Seven Days to Die, season five of Darkest Falls. I can't remember that was all season three. Basically, I did this defense there, but it was from this direction. The zombies had to come up like this, and they fell down and they had to turn back again. There were stairs all over that I made a loop so that the zombies could just go a path how they want to. Let's just hope it actually works like that again over here. One, two, three, four, five. It's going to start caving in soon, because remember, even though it can hold 40 blocks, there is a distance limit in this game. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Technically, this needs to be a... Six. Oh, there you go. That's the max. So now I need to start building from that side. Either that, or for now, I just need to put uh, pillars in. Normal wood. Okay, so um, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then the sixth one of here, I'm going to put a block. Uh, just make sure that's actually over here. No, one in. So I'm just going to put this block over here now to help a little bit of the structure integrity. And as soon as we have the stairs in, it shouldn't cave in at all. See, now those frames are helping hold this up. Only problem with this being is if a zombie comes by and destroys the wood frames. Two, three, four, five. Oh, damn it, my weight. See, even your own weight affects this game. And a lot of people don't even know that. Just you standing uh, like that. That block could have. That block easily holds right now, right? But as soon as I stand there, all of a sudden it caves in. But yeah, now I just need to do that. Do the same on the other side. And then since these pillars are now helping hold up all of the stuff, we should be able to just start with the stairs on that side. One, two in between. One, two. I'm just quickly going to add in these quarter blocks and then I'll get you guys back as soon as I have the majority of them in. See you guys now. Okay, so I think I have both sides up. Um, I'm just not a fan of how close these two defenses are to each other right now. But I'm just lucky in the beginning I decided to go so far. You know what? Let me just put on this mining light. I'm just uh, glad in the beginning I decided to go so far away from each other. Otherwise, this defense would definitely not have worked with this uh, staircase. But, okay, so this thing's up and running now, right? I put a block underneath. I used uh, the ram block. So you call this? 
Uh, no, that's just titanium. What is it called again? A wedge block. Not a wedge top, but the wedge block. If you make that over there. So basically, it's not as sharp as a ram block, but it fits nicely with the quarter blocks. Um, yeah, the only problem is you can't put normal blocks underneath this. It needs to be the wedge block all the way to the bottom now. But this way, you can just put in full blocks at the back, and it's going to look nice. Now, since this side is up, you should be able to do this. Boom, boom, boom. We have so much titanium left, guys. We'll definitely be able to finish the defense in time for the next horde without having to worry about resources. Uh, the floor, though, might just have to be steel. I want to see if I can put the whole floor over here, at least titanium. But the zombies are going to be running, right? Um, and around the stairs, perhaps. But the stairs themselves and everything else, unfortunately, that's going to have to be steel. It's unfortunate that we can't make these... You can't shape these into stairs, can you? It's a shame. I wonder if I shouldn't just use the normal blocks, or should I use stairs? Stairs make them run up faster, and you don't really want them up here fast. I do also want to put the electric fence post over here still, so I want to put poles in. Uh, basically, the electric fence post guys will be on that side and that side. And so as soon as the zombies try and run over this, they're, it's gonna, uh, they're gonna shock, and it's gonna slow them down. But I need to do that perfectly now without having to waste any resources. Um, I also don't want any zombies falling down over here and just exploding. So we have to really think about how we're going to do this. The stairs, I wonder if I shouldn't make the stairs themselves. Yeah, okay, yes, 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 yes. To make sure we actually use, start using these resources. What we can do, I'm going to put the stairs on top. It doesn't matter if it's not in the ground. We can use the, the reinforced concrete to build the inner layers. Um, it doesn't even have to be steel, it just has to be concrete. And then we can put on the outside for stairs the rebar or the titanium blocks. Because the titanium can shape in that shape. That's nice. It's actually going to work perfectly. Now, for, as for the stairs, the stairs need to be far enough away from each other. So when the zombies fall, they can actually run up without having to d destroy the wall. So either I can have the stairs coming down over here and then making a turn. Or I can have the stairs just coming straight up next to this thing going up. But then if the zombies stand on the stairs, they'll be able to hit those blocks over there. I need to really consider what I'm going to do right now. Otherwise, I'm just going to be wasting resources. And that's one thing I don't want. Look, we have a ton of resources. We don't really have to worry. But the problem is, even though we have so much resources, it's really easy to waste blocks. I actually also want to try to uh, see if we can't make like a streamer farm thing. Uh, the only problem is, obviously, they spawn demon uh, demonic beamers right now. So it's going to be a little bit tougher testing that. I mean, you might even be able to make a horde base. A horde base should also work as a um, screamer farm. Only problem is, obviously, you don't want to you want to have a base that doesn't take too much damage from demonic zombies. The screamer needs to be able to see you and scream once, and then you need to close like a door or something, so that the other zombies can't see you. They have to path to you. Only problem is, since they're not feral, since they don't know where you are, they might just end up destroying everything in their path, and that's gonna be bad. I wonder if I shouldn't make a pyramid kind of design. The stairs need to go up on the left and the right over here. The only problem is I also need to think about the electric fence post. If I put stairs on this side, like coming in from right next to it, I won't be able to have electric fence posts going over, slowing them down. So the stairs are definitely going to have to be from this direction and this direction. And then I just need to make it like a turn or something for the stairs so that the zombies don't end up wrecking all the defenses. Um, let's try this. I'm going to make a little bit of a platform over there. So the zombies have a little bit more breathing room or moving room. And then I'm going to start making layers down. Like one, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, four. Like a staircase. And then we need to put titanium on top of that. We need to test what kind of stairs are going to work. Um, I could put stairs at the back over here. But as you guys know, if the zombies have too much of a path up. Like for example, if they run up, your, up the stairs, they don't have to turn and slow down. They might just make it up or over easier. But if you can make sure you don't have um, stairs on that side like a straight line towards the defense, then the behemoths should fall down, I hope. We're definitely going to have behemoths coming up here, guys, unfortunately, because of the way this is designed. But we'll see. Um, I might actually make the stairs come down. And then have stairs coming up, coming up, and then... Yeah, we'll, we'll see how this looks. Let me just quickly upgrade this, and I'll catch you guys back now. Okay, so finally back. Now, as you guys can see, it's already almost 12 p.m. in game. Um... On day 118 and yeah i've been really really busy i just split these in three blocks or three stacks so it's easier to get stuff done but basically the zombies are, i'm going to show you guys what i did the back now the zombies are going to fall off the quarter blocks over here they can either go left or right and uh, this over here is just titanium 
and just titanium. But these over here are reinforced concrete underneath. Same on this side. So they can run up from either side of here. Same on the back. They can go left or right. They run up. They run up the stairs. They go over over here. And then I want to shock them over here. But now with the stairs there, I might not be able to do that. Um, if I can make elect uh, if I can make these over here carry my electric fence posts, I might be able to do it. But for now, this already is already a massive improvement. Because the zombies, except for these over here, they might actually be able to pick up some st uh, steam. Uh, they might be able to make it over all the way, right? Then they have to turn, and then over here, I'll be able to pick them clean. So, a wonderful day 119, uh, the horde. If I shouldn't just have these activated over here, and just test them out for now. And if we see, okay, whoa, too many zombies are actually making it over, then we decide, okay, let's just, uh, let's just put electric fence posts over here. Basically, I want to let them walk through electric fence posts, and then they slow down. Either, even if it's over here. I'm going to make a pole over there or what, the electric fence post start over here or whatever. They need to connect to that side and then we just run over. Now what I could do for the electric fence post to save time and resources. At the back over here, I can put another pole. And then this pole or even a little bit further back. Um, like for example, I can do this. I can place these blocks over here. And then I could have a pole going out and over. And that can hold all my electric fence posts. Now the problem is with that. If my electric fence posts get hit, they get destroyed. Unfortunately, I won't be able to put them in walls or anything. But if they don't get hit, then the zombies are going to slow down over here. Which means they won't make this uh, over over here. And they're going to fall down and have to start over again. I'm actually... Oh man, I'm so... I, I regret not using these wedge blocks on this side to make it look a little bit better. Yeah, basically they're going to turn over here. I'm going to put the, uh, the stage turret on this side, pushing them that way. And this side, pushing them that way. I don't want them to hit the zombies directly in the chest because we know how that actually ends up. Um, but yeah, this looks like it's going to work. I did this on both sides. That's why it took so long. And I went through almost all my titanium. I don't have any titanium left, basically. Well, except those that are crafting over there. But I just have a feeling there's a ton of screamers over there because every now and then I actually hear one spawn there and run past. So I'm going to have to crouch back to see. I'm going to have to pick up my bike, crouch back and see if I'm safe or not. Just put the stuff away for now. Only 508 left on me. Basically, what I want to do with that titanium is I should actually replace these over here with just titanium. Um, I could upgrade them with forged. Basically, if I have steel on me and we have forged titanium, we can go with these two blocks at least. We can make them titanium. But the rest over here, I need to take out. No, I can take out all of these right now. I don't really have to worry. I was afraid that if I pick those up, it's going to fall. But they are attached to the floor. So as long, as long as I can actually remove these over here and these over here and replace them with titanium, we should have a fully titanium base. The only blocks that I'm really worried about now, I think off camera I need to go and remove those, make them titanium. And remove these uh, top layers and make them titanium. And then these are just going to be steel. Um, if, we're, if I were to go and remove all of these now, it's going to take too long and yeah, it's going to be boring as hell. But what I do need to do before we actually even start the horde is this whole floorway. From there to there, all the way through to that side, needs to be titanium. If it's not and a zombie falls down and explodes, then we have a massive problem. Basically, actually from here. From this spot over here, all the way through, needs to be titanium, titanium. So I wonder if I should even dig two down. But I'm going to have to do that during the night time and turn off the forges so we don't have to get uh, too many screamers. I need to go two down, place reinforced concrete underneath, and then titanium on top. I just want to go check exactly how much titanium am I crafting at the moment. Okay, that was started just now, so I wonder if that's a wandering horde passing by. Or just spawning into existence. I need to be really, really careful when running like this that zombies don't just see me out of nowhere. These, the screamers, do make a kind of a moaning sound so you can hear them. I just wonder where all the stutter is coming from. Well, it actually bothers me when you feel the game stuttering, so no, okay, something just spawned in. Okay, so we do need the sledge. Can I pick it up? Come on, there you go. Now, screamers, screamers, screamers. If there was a screamer over here, I'd just run away. <laughs> I'd, I'd lure the zombies away from the spot because I don't want them destroying the floors over here. But now I have, I have a ton of work to do off camera because like I said, I want to replace that floor so we don't constantly have to worry about, oh no, it's going to get destroyed. But what I wonder, I wonder if I shouldn't just first make the floor concrete and then we go do looting in the area while this dries. Then when it's dried, we can actually make it all steel and then put the titanium on top. I think that's actually going to be a little bit better because then we don't have to worry as soon as they break through the titanium that there's going to be weak blocks underneath. Steel's at least a little bit tougher. Yeah, I think I'm just going to call it here. 
And like I said, now I have to just do a quick little bit of digging over there. But before I do that, I need to turn off these forges. I'm getting way too many screamers at the moment. So if you guys like this episode, please leave a like, share with your friends. Any comments or tips or feedback? What do you guys think about this defense? I know I did quite a bit just now off camera, guys. But yeah, there was a ton of work to have to be done. So I should either do it on a live stream or just cut out like I just did. But yeah, leave your comments down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time. Ooh, 2.2.